Hi friends, I am Manu V and a warm welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to discuss a very interesting topic that is international trade. First of all, we should know that the meaning of trade and the trade means exchange of goods and services and trade can be broadly classified into two internal and external trade. Internal trade refers to trade within a nation. External trade is also known as international trade. And international trade is the exchange of goods and services among different countries of the world. It can also be defined as buying and selling of goods and services beyond the geographical boundaries of the country. And we know that uh, international trade began as exchange of commodities between nations. But in modern times, trade is not restricted to commodities alone. Services like banking, insurance and air travel are also traded. And uh, the next one, features of international trade. Factors of production are not very mobile. Different currencies, heterogeneity in markets, and foreign exchange rate. First feature, factors of production are not very mobile. Factors of production are mobile within a country, but between countries there are many restrictions on factor movement. For example, labor movements are restricted through immigration laws and capital flows are regulated through currency controls and government policies. So, in the case of internal trade, factors of production are mobile, but in international trade, factors of production are not very mobile. And next, different currencies. In internal trade, there is only one currency, but in international trade, different currencies are involved and heterogeneity in markets. International trade is characterized by heterogeneity in language, climate, culture, level of economic development, etc. And for an exchange rate, internal trade is based on the price of goods and services. But international trade is based on the price of currencies, that is exchange rate. As we know, exchange rate is the number of units of domestic currency required to purchase one unit of foreign currency. For example, one US dollar is equal to 70.72 Indian rupee. And the exchange rate shows price of one currency in terms of another currency. So foreign exchange rate plays an important part in foreign trade. And uh, the international trade is considered as an engine of economic growth. Here the question is why international trade is considered as an engine of economic growth. The foreign trade has been the driving force behind economic growth because it contributes to economic growth in a number of ways. There, the primary function of foreign trade is to explore means of procuring imports of capital goods without which no process of development can start. And trade provides to flow of technology which allows for increases in productivity and also results in short term multiplier effect. And the foreign trade generates a pressure for dynamic change through competitive pressure from imports, pressure of competing export markets and a better allocation of resources. And exports allow fuller utilization of capacity, resulting in achievement of economies of scale. And the foreign trade increases technology transfers from industrial to developing countries, resulting in demand for more skilled labors in their recipient countries and also increased the openness to trade has been strongly associated with the reduction in poverty in most developing countries. And as far as these points are concerned, we can say that international trade is considered as an engine of economic growth. And next, types of international trade. International trade may be free or restricted. Free trade is a situation where a government does not influence international trade through quotas and tariffs. And if the trade between countries is obstructed by the government, then it is known as a restrictive trade. It's a government policy of providing protection to the domestic countries from foreign competition. 
and uh, the international trade theories has long held that some trade is better than no trade and more trade is better than less trade and free trade is better than restricted trade that is the free trade is considered to be fair trade because what is free must be fair and next the components of international trade international trade basically comprises of export import and import export means selling a country's goods and services to other countries and export causes inflow of foreign exchange and import means a buying of goods and services from other countries and imports cause outflow of foreign exchange and import is a combination of import and export that means buying from one country and then selling to another country finally let's study about a balance of trade and a balance of payment as far as international trade is concerned we know that it has two dimensions export and import and balance of trade denotes the difference between the values of merchandise exported and imported here visible or merchandise items are commodities and invisible items are services so merchandise export means visible export merchandise import means visible import therefore beauty is a record of country's visible exports and visible imports in a year if uh, the value of a country's visible exports is greater than the value of its uh, visible imports it has a trade surplus then we can say that the country has a favorable balance of trade on the other hand if the value of a country's visible exports is less than the value of its visible imports it has a trade deficit this is called unfavorable balance of trade and next the balance of payment bop is a more comprehensive term than balance of trade bop is a record of country's monetary transactions with the rest of the world in a year it includes both the visible and the invisible items and uh, the main difference between bot and bop is that bot includes only visible items but balance of payment includes both uh, visible and invisible items and bot is a narrow concept while bop is a wider concept happy learning folks thank you